Dear citizens of the world, the worst has happened. The one unthinkable thing that I thought would never happen. McDonald's is closed for business. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So basically there was another video I wanted to do like today and yesterday. But when I woke up yesterday morning, I found out that McDonald's was closed all the way till the end of the circuit breaker. So that's kind of like two weeks worth of McDonald's gone. And uh, at first I thought it was a hoax when I got the WhatsApp message from all my friends and then it showed up on the news. And it's like um, one of the craziest things because like McDonald's is such a big part of like the Singaporean identity. Yeah, part of being Singaporean means when you're growing up, going to McDonald's as a kid is like a special thing, a privilege, you know. It's not something that you necessarily uh, would always be able to do, but at the same time, it's also not exactly something that, um, yeah, it's really, really big, you know, to, your, to family. McDonald's has always been and will always be something really big to families. Uh, so yeah, um, let's get right into the memes. So one of the things that I saw, you know, that first got me was uh, Mothership. Mothership came up with like, if I knew McDonald's was closing until May 4th, I should have upsized. Uh, truth man, truth man, our last bastion of hope. It's true. Uh, some of the things like uh, 50 cents to upsize everything, totally worth it. I'm going to miss that from now on. The comments were really, really great. Uh, some of the comments weren't that bad. Like um, this one comment that says, uh, SG United seems to be a really, really big talking point here. So it's like, it doesn't matter who made the decision or who was told we will miss you, but together we shall fight this tough time. Hashtag SG United, stay safe, stay strong. And then thank you McDonald's for serving us all this while. Thank you for being with us for all the ups and downs and being on the front line to ensure we won't get hungry. On this historical moment, let's all stand hand in hand to overcome this pandemic unitedly. COVID-19, MACD SG United, hashtag SG United. Hashtag SG United is uh, basically a movement by the government to kind of like, you know, get everyone all together. I wonder, but then of course you always have your detractor. So people like this guy, I wonder why this sudden decision after stopping takeaway, could it be that a lot of unlinked case tracked back to McDonald's and not announced? To stop operation of all outlets in Singapore by MOH, McDonald's is FNB, such a move is alarming. Why MOH only asked them and not KFC and the others? The funny thing about this is that immediately as I read this news on Facebook, I saw that KFC has been shut down in the UK. So for those of you guys in the UK, I'm so sorry that, you know, you can't have a finger licking good time anymore. Then uh, next up we have, uh, Okay, I ordered my last McDonald's breakfast now. Gotta miss you so much. My McDonald's, please come back soon. I can't do it without you. You have already been a part of my life. Crying emoji, broken heart emoji, white heart, sob. So like, like I said, you know, McDonald's is a big part of like a lot of Singaporean's lives because like growing up, it's always been like that special meal, like uh, in the eighties and the nineties. Like you know, you go to Centerpoint McDonald's to hang out with your friends. You go to McDonald's on Fridays only because like uh, your family would be eating uh, economic rice every other day, and like you know, you'd be like, I want that for food. I want that food. I want that food. But then, at McDonald's is quite simple. You go there. Oh, I want the happy meal because the toys are great. And then, don't be crazy to rush to order before closure. There's a clear reason why they're suspending the business. This is not a Hello Kitty scenario. Uh, this calls back to like the long ass lines on Hello Kitty whenever they drop like a new Hello Kitty collectible because like I said, those happy memes are great. But still, eh, you know, <laughs> I don't think everyone was really flooding McDonald's with orders. Like we can survive two weeks without McDonald's. It might be special, but we have so much more to order on Food Panda, Grab Food, and now the Smart Local because they started this whole new thing that uh, will pay small businesses more. And there's even like this Facebook event where it goes, Cha ba ba da da da, I'm loving it for McDonald's at 8 p.m. This was like yesterday night. It's same as the clap for first responders kind of response. It's, it's like the token effort or like run around harbourfront Vivo City like Naruto, that kind of thing. So then, but then also we have our bad faith actors on Carousel who are literally hoarding sauces. Like, you know, there's this picture of like chili sauce and curry sauce being hoarded. And we have people, and then fish fillets are starting to sell at, from $7 all the way up to $70,000. Clearly it's a joke, but still, you know, Come on guys, really? $70,000?
Well, anyways, uh, I'll probably be back with a video in the next few days talking about the cool videos because I have a whole bunch of new videos that I found in like the last few days. Every day I drag out that video, there's new proof that Singaporeans are acting like COVID idiots, whether or not it is attacking people or just going out and breaking CB. So don't be a CCB and break CB. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Bye. Just joking lah.